Hello there, this is Instructor Paul, and in this lecture, we're going to talk about approving WSUS updates to your domain and to your environment. So I'm logged into my server here, and I've opened the console, and I'm on the Updates tab here. So a couple things I want to cover is first, we have all these reporting things that we can look at, like critical updates, all updates, you know, updates we've approved, things that are installed, things that aren't installed. This is useful for when we need to approve an update, and we want to make sure that it's actually being installed on our computers. For example, under critical updates, if I click on updates needed by computers, it will switch over to our critical updates and it will show us whichever ones we need to approve. So here are five updates of 181 and these are all for Windows 10. So we could hold shift, select all of these updates, right click and choose approve. And we can approve these for our Windows 10 and our non-domain computers. So I'll select this dropdown and I can say approved for install, approved for removal, not approved, or I can say same as parent. So the parent would be this parent option right here if I approved it for all computers. So you might have nested groups, things like that. I'm just gonna say for Windows 10, approved for install, and for my non-domain, approved for install. Because remember, even if I have a server operating system that is in the non-domain group, if I approve a Windows 10 update, it will not try to install that update on our Windows server operating system. WSUS is smart enough to know whether or not you know it's the update is applicable to the computer that we're targeting. So now I'm gonna click OK. And there's something that I want to show you first. It's showing all the approvals for all the updates that we just approved. And if we click close here, now if we switch to our WSS console, we can see under the download status that there's updates needing files is five and the total size of the five updates is 64 megabytes and it's downloaded zero megabytes of 64. Now that'll progress. I think if I refresh it, it might show a different number there. So it's downloaded two megs of 64 megabytes, okay? So now if we go back to updates, Real quick, I want to describe the difference between critical and security updates. Now, critical updates deal with vulnerabilities that could allow a worm to be spread through your environment. So critical updates are super, super important. Now, security updates just address security vulnerabilities. So Microsoft releases bulletins that say, hey, you know, we have this vulnerability in Windows and we patched it with this update and the number is KB, you know, one, two, three, four, five or whatever the number may be. Those will be security updates and you want to approve those as much as you can. So under security updates, if we click on updates needed by computers, we can see that we have some updates for Windows 10 and actually these are all for Windows 10. So what I'm gonna do is just hold shift, select all of these updates and I'm just gonna make sure they're all Windows 10. I'm gonna right click and choose approve. And we're gonna approve these for the non-domain since I have a Windows 10 computer there. And the Windows 10 group, I'm gonna select approve for install. Okay, so now I'm gonna click okay. And it's gonna approve all these updates and begin the download form. So now if I go back to this tab here, we can see under all updates, there's 141 updates that are needed by my computers. So what I'm gonna do there is just click on this and I'm gonna, again, select all these updates and I'm going to approve them to the appropriate group. So I just need to wait. This is a lot more updates than what we saw before. So here we go. Microsoft Silverlight, that's gonna be something that we're gonna approve for Windows Server and for Windows 10. So I'm gonna just say all computers approved for install and I'm gonna click okay. I'm gonna say I accept. Silverlight updates automatically, please accept the privacy statement. I accept. And then I'm going to wait for this to finish and I'll click close. So we have some updates for Windows 10. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sort this by the title and that's gonna help me figure out which updates are for Windows 10 and which ones aren't. So here's Windows 10, Windows 10. I'm gonna go through and select all these updates that I believe are for Windows 10. And for all I know, these could all be Windows 10. Actually, it looks like it might turn out that way. So for these other updates where it says Windows 8, 8.1 and 10, you can just approve this for Windows 10. That's perfectly fine. So let's keep going down. And it looks like these are all Windows 10 updates. So I'm gonna right click and choose approve. And I'm going to say non-domain approved for install and Windows 10 approved for install. So I'll click OK. Now I'll click close. And I'm going to go back to the updates tab. Go ahead and refresh the screen here. So now let's go back up to IPWS US01. And I'm going to refresh this little page here. So now it says we need 25 files or 25 updates and it's downloaded 1.7 gigabytes of 2.3 gigabytes. So if I refresh that again, we can see that it is progressing here and I've got 1.9 out of 2.3 gigabytes, okay? So now I can go back to just all updates and I could select 
Let's see, refresh this page here. I could change this from any except declined to unapproved and I can click refresh and let's just see if any pop up here. Okay, so here's some more updates that I have that are not approved. We can see the approval right here on the right hand side. So what I'm going to do is just verify that these are all going to be Windows 10. I can see here's some more Silverlight updates. I'm going to hold shift. So I select the top one. I'm going to hold shift, select the bottom one, right click and choose approve. And I'm going to approve these for all my computers. Click OK. And I'll hit close. And I'm going to refresh this window and those updates will no longer be listed because I, I changed this approval to any unapproved updates that with a status of needed. So I'm going to go ahead and scroll down some more and I'm just double checking to make sure that these are all Windows 10 updates before I approve them to my Windows 10 computers. And it looks like they are. So I'm going to go ahead and select all of these, hold shift, right click, choose approve and non-domain. I'm going to approve for install and Windows 10. I'm going to approve for install. So I'll click OK. And this is going to take a little bit of time because I just selected a lot of updates. Okay, so now I'm going to click close and again, I'm going to hit refresh. See if there are any more updates. So now we have zero updates of 76,000 updates. Okay, so now let's go to critical updates. We can do the same thing. I'm just going to say unapproved and they're needed refresh. I believe that we're going to get zero. We are okay. So we'll do the same for security. We'll change this to unapproved refresh. Just make sure that we got all the updates that we needed and we can go to WSS updates and do the exact same thing. So status would be failed or needed, unapproved. I'm going to hit refresh and it says zero of zero show. Okay, so now we've gone through and we've approved all these updates for our WSUS server. If I go here and I refresh this little dashboard, we're going to see this number will update. It's taken a little bit longer than it should to do that. So now we have 95 updates. So now we're downloading 2.6 gigs of 4.8 that are required. So now we just need to wait for this update to finish. And then we're going to verify that they are installed on our target computers. So great job getting through this lecture. That's all we're going to cover in this one. I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next lecture.